guys welcome back so today I decided I wanted to go ahead and do a full face using some of the new products that I just got in my recent haul but to start out I'm going in with my no problem prime essence I really like this stuff you guys it feels amazing and I'm also going in with some of my Mario Badescu rose water facial spray I'm gonna make sure I am nicely hydrated since I'm using a matte foundation today. So to do my brows, I'm going in with my e.l.f. This is the Lock On Liner and Brow Pomade in the color Espresso. And I really like using it because it's super quick and easy. I'm also cleaning up my brows using the Wet n Wild Concealer. And this is in the color Dark Cocoa. I really like this concealer to clean up my brows. But that's about it. <laughs> it's funny because certain concealers I like for my brows and other concealers I like just for my face. Now to prime my lids, I'm using my MAC Paint Pot and this is in the color Soft Ochre. And I'm also going to be using tape today because I want a really nice clean line for this look. Now the star of today's show is the Proceed with Caution collection from Shayla and ColourPop, okay? And I'm really, really excited to try out this palette, you guys. It's not really my cup of tea, but I did see a lot of bomb eye looks created with this palette, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up and check it out. So. These are the swatches, you guys. As you can see, these shades are really, really pretty. They are gorgeous. If you like a warm, basic, everyday type of palette, this is perfect for you. <laughs> so I'm going to start out with this transition shade, and it is called Culture. And as you can see, it's just a really light transition shade, perfect for a lot of different skin tones, I think. And it went on very smoothly, not extremely pigmented just a nice light transition shade next I'm going in with maintenance and this is a kind of like a deep red tone brown and it's a very very pretty shade I'm using that to really deepen my crease and my outer corner I want to go for a really dark smoky look with this palette today now to deepen it up even more I'm going into gloves on which is the black that's in this palette using that to really darken that outer corner but I'm also dragging it all the way through my crease area because like I said I really want to create a dark dramatic smoky look with this palette since there's really not that much you can do with this palette <laughs> I really wanted to go in with the dark colors now for my lid I'm going in with warning and this shade is like, it reminds me of like an orange tone gold. It's very, very pretty, you guys. I mean, it looks gorgeous on top of this dark lid. It just really made it pop and it went on super easy. As you can see, I didn't even spray my brush. Now I'm just blending out my crease area, making sure everything is blended nicely together. Now I'm moving on to some eyeliner. I'm using my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Eyeliner. You guys know I love this stuff. It's just super duper easy for me to control. I like that the, bl the brush is flexible and it's not stiff. Now this is the foundation I'm trying out today, you guys. It's the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. And the shade that I chose is 085 chestnut beige now before I go in with that I'm gonna go ham with my Fenty primer because I know it's nice and moisturizing and since this is a matte foundation I want to make sure my face is nicely prepped now this is what the foundation looks like you guys it does have a dropper and I really like the consistency of this foundation because it's not super duper thick but it's not really loose either. It's just like the perfect consistency to blend out. 
Now, as you can see, this foundation shade is orange on me. <laughs> it is. It's a bit orange. I really don't freak out when I see a foundation looking orange on me because I can usually balance it out with whatever concealer I choose. But I feel like this shade, if it was a little less orange, it would have been the proper shade for me. But just my initial thoughts on the foundation is that it's blending out nicely. I do like the finish. It is matte, so if you're dry, you might not like it. Now, I'm trying out this e.l.f. 16-hour camel concealer for the first time. I wasn't really sure what to expect because I've seen and heard so many mixed reviews on it. Some people love it, some people hate it. I found that when I put it on, it was super duper opaque. I mean, the coverage is crazy, you guys. And me personally, I actually like it. I love the coverage of it. Um, it is a bit thick, but it wasn't as drying as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to suck the life out of me, but it actually did and my first impression of it is actually good. <laughs> I actually like it. I like how the color I chose, which is deep cinnamon, how it blended into this Catrice foundation and it did help to kind of tone the orangeness down a bit. So that probably helped me to like it even more. So I actually really like my first experience with this e.l.f. Camo Concealer. It really did the job nicely. Now I'm trying out this Essence Matte Bronzing Powder. My girl DJ said I should try it out as an under eye powder, so that's what I did. And it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. It gave me a nice soft set. It wasn't too bright. It's like the perfect shade for me under my eyes, I believe. And it actually smells really nice. I don't know if it smells like coconut or just a Bahama breeze, but it actually smelled really good. So I just used it to go ahead and set all of the highlighted areas on my face and I actually like it. Not too bad. Now I'm going in with my e.l.f. powder and this is actually a bronzing powder, but I really like using this powder to set my face, you guys. <laughs> I just, I like the color of it. Maybe because it's summertime, I like how it just keeps me nice and warm, but this is the e.l.f. Always Bronze Powder, and I like to use that to set my face. Now I'm trying out this Roxy Contour and Highlight Palette today that I just got. So I'm going in with the bronzing shade first because I typically like to use my bronzer more as my contour because I don't really like cool tone shadows on my face. So typically you'll see me going in with a bronzer using it like a contour and I just wanted to see if I would be able to see any type of shadows from the bronzer in this palette before I tried out the contour. And I actually did. I feel like it did deepen up the outer areas of my face a little bit and I actually like it because it's not too, too harsh. So now I'm going in to try out the contour shade and I just kind of gently placed it, you know, on my cheek area to see if I could see that shadow and I definitely do. I definitely see a shadow there. It is that cool tone contoured look that you would be looking for. I don't like it, <laughs> but it works. So these are the two blushes today, you guys. I chose Construct to play with today. And I really don't care for this blush, not because it's a bad blush, but because it doesn't show up on me. It's really more of a light shimmer. So I don't know who this is for, but it's not for me. <laughs> Cause I like to actually see my blush. And this just kind of looks like a soft highlight on my cheek, not so much color. So now I'm going back into that Roxy palette to try out a highlighter. And this gold highlighter is ship popping, you guys. It is really, really pretty. I like it because it's not that out of control blinding highlight, but you definitely can see it. You can go in a little bit lighter than I did if you want, or a little bit heavier if you do like the blinding highlight. But I do love a gold highlight. I like champagne colors as well, but I think gold is my favorite. 
So now to finish up these eyes, I'm going to go in with my Milani Stay Put Eyeliner. And I'm just using that on my lower lash line. And going back into the palette, I'm choosing the black shade, which is gloves on. And I'm using that to further smoke out my lower lash line. And then I'm also going into maintenance, which is that kind of brownish red shade and using that to smoke out that black just a little bit so it's not so harsh. Now for my inner corner highlight, I'm going into dead end and I'm just using a small fluffy brush just to tap that into my inner corner for more of a soft brightening effect. And you guys, I am still working on this Pixie by Petra Mascara. <laughs> it's just not going away. It is lasting forever like the Energizer Bunny, you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out these lip kits. So the first one has a slow down as the lipstick and BFF4 as the lip liner. And this is what they look like. And these are the swatches for this lip kit. I really, really like this lip kit a lot. It's very pretty. Those colors just are gorgeous together. Now the next kit has Speed Up and BFF3. And I didn't really care for this kit as much, but it's still a pretty kit. I don't see myself using it as much as I will the first one, but it's pretty as well. It's just a little bit brighter than I would like. So I'm going in with the BFF4 kit. Now I love the ColourPop lip liners because they're so creamy and easy to put on. They don't tug on your lips and they're really, really pretty. Now I decided I wanted to go ahead and go in with some of my new Essence Wet Look Lip Gloss. And this is in the color Bright On. And you guys see how that lip gloss just made that new lip pop it is so gorgeous you guys this lip gloss was only $2.99 it's super comfortable and extremely glossy I really like it I would definitely buy this instead of the $18 uh, Fenty gloss bomb <laughs> it's just it's really pretty so this is my completed look for today you guys I must say I was very pleased with just about everything as I said, I didn't really care for the blush and that's only because I don't like a shimmery blush because I have texture and I really didn't see the color on me. But other than that, the foundation, the concealer, the eyeshadow, the lip kits, everything was just really nice. So I hope you enjoyed trying out these items with me and I hope to see you on my next video. Doodles!